Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this little live stream where I'm going to do some of my own stuff. Um, I've had a hell of a week, to be honest. It's been so full on, um, and I'm really tired, but I would quite happily just chill and have a few beers or something. But actually, you know what? And I've had a week like this. Um, it kind of puts into perspective what you love a little bit more, and what I love is um, music, and I love writing my own songs, and I love singing for you guys. So um, that's where my head's at. So I'm going to sing my songs tonight some of my songs for you hope you enjoy them um and we're going to start with um i can't wait for you so many things to say to you where do i start what do i say been here a million times it's true but we keep going back to square songs called I Can't Wait For You. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, oh, I'm in singer-songwriter mode tonight. I'm doing my own stuff. Uh, it's all a bit slit your wrists, I'm not going to lie. So, um, hope you enjoy some of it. I've got, I've decided to go for two things tonight. My voice is still not 100%, so I'm on the honey, lemon and ginger. But it's Friday night, man, so I'm having a whiskey too. So, like, a bit of both. We'll see which one works the best as the night goes on. Alright, um, this next song is called Hurts me again, um, and I wrote this um, a few years ago. Very personal song, so here we go. We met in a little bar on Lonely Avenue, walking by the old tram cars. So cold in winter, in the land of gold, the long walk 
Came here to be cheered up tonight, folks. <laughs> I tell you, um, I'm in sing singer songwriter mode. Um, you know, showing you all my deepest, darkest emotions. Um, speaking of which, this next song is certainly nothing like that. Um, this is a fun song. So that last song um, I wrote 
um, about something a few years ago. And the, the three songs I'm going to do, the next two and that one, they're all like a mini sort of suite um, <clears throat> of songs about the same time and same place. Um, and this next one's about a road trip. Um, and this is a, just a bit silly, this one. So I hope you like it. Um, so basically, I went on a road, long, long road trip through New Zealand. Um, 2016 for my 30th birthday with a, a, a travel companion and um, we we had it we hired a van it was a bit of a hippie van um, had you know a peace symbol on the front and all the rest of it looked a bit like the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo <laughs> and um, yeah anyway the, like when you got we went quite Christchurch and Christchurch is like the place the land that time forgot and you know they had the earthquake and everything and it's just like it's just so quiet and so kind of barren and um, nothing really going on, if I'm honest, as much as I love New Zealand. Um, anyway, so La Toya, we, the, the, the van was called, um, was a Toyota, so we nicknamed it La Toya. Why not? Um, and anyway, La Toya came to a, an end when uh, someone threw a brick through the window. So, uh, yeah, this is the story of the van called La Toya. It's just a stupid little song. Um, I'm going to use a drum machine. Why not? It's Friday night, isn't it? So let's go for it. This is about a van called Latoya. It's it's kind of like something off, well, I'd probably overinflating it's um how good it is here, but it's a bit like reminds me of like Stevie Wonder songs in the Key of Life album. It's that kind of it's like one of the instrumentals off that. So here we go. By the way, if you just tuned in, and you think this is weird and terrible. You come back later because it is a bit weird and terrible. Right. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Latoya, that's my song about a van in New Zealand. Oh, I need to get something else rigged up. There should be a sample of a smashed window at the end. But anyway, there we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit bonkers that one. Well done if you stay to watch, listen to that one and watch that one because it's a bit mad. All right. Um, so I said that was part of three songs, a little story. Um, and here's the last one. This this is called, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, it's called Turn Tomorrow Into Yesterday. Um, and again, yeah, I wrote this a few years ago. So um, if you just join us tonight, is all my own songs. So I hope you enjoy some of them. Um you can listen to some of these on SoundCloud uh, if you want to listen to the full versions with all the bells and whistles. Um, and this one was produced by my friend Alistair Garner. Um, <clears throat> he did a great, great job of like the production on this one. But anyway, this is my little acoustic version. This is um, this is um, turn tomorrow into yesterday. And I did quite a few of these live streams back in the the lockdown, earlier lockdown. And I don't think I did this one. So this is. Um, I'm doing this for ages. I hope I'm more than a memory lingering in your head, ticking away in the back drawer there.
thank you. That's called Turn Tomorrow Into Yesterday. Right. Um, oh, it's, I'm on a bit of a downer tonight, guys. I've had a hell of a week. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm feeling very singer-songwriter tonight. So if you're in a, if you're a bit depressed, it's probably not the best time to watch. But these are all my songs um, tonight that I've written over the last few years um, on all sorts of topics, really. Um, and this next one is about a lovely old lady called Mary. Who I knew, and she was. Um, it's important to the story to say she was a Catholic, a very devout Catholic, and a lovely lady, great sense of humour, um, such a warm, lovely lady. <clears throat> and anyway, she when my when my grand was ill a few years ago in hospital, she was in the same ward, and um, and she didn't live much longer than that actually. But I got talking to her, and I known her since I was like a tiny tot, you know, that kind of uh, person. And she was so generous and so kind. And she she died. And I was kind of just inspired one one day to sit and write a song about her. Um, and I didn't really know her that well. But I used to, you know, pop around and see her sometimes and um, over the years. So anyway, this is about Mary. And it's called Love, Mary, Love. Um, it's all just about this lovely lady. So here we go. Cheers. Shoshna, whatever it is in Irish, because she was Irish. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> You called me prince from your house on the corner When I was just a baby in arms and my mother helped me Smiled at me, waved at me, laughed at me, prayed for me Never forgetting eternally Mary, that was about a um, lovely old lady I, I used to know. Um, I wrote that one about her. Okay, um, <clears throat> this next song I get asked to like to play. <laughs> I get asked to play this song lots of times to the to the six people watching. But cheers! Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, people ask me to sing this one. Um, I think it's a favourite if there can be such a thing among some of my little tunes. 
Um, and it's got a Japanese theme. Um, and I wrote this about, um, well, after a very horrible summer, actually. It's a depressing night tonight. Welcome to the depressing night. Um, yeah, after after um, a good friend of mine passed away and when my grand passed away the same summer. And then I went to Japan on holiday and had a lovely time and it took my mind off everything. Um, and I found Kyoto, a beautiful, beautiful city. It's one of my favourite cities in the world. Um, and it's just such a nice place and lots of temples and it kind of, it really zenned me out, you know, chilled me out. Um, and, and this is one of those rare songs, I sound like a bit of a douche here, but it's one of those rare songs where it, write, it wrote itself. I remember coming down to breakfast, I wrote this when I was in Japan and I sat there and instantly it just was in my head and I wrote the lyrics down and I had the tune, did a little audio, came back and it was done, you know. So anyway, so I, I don't know, I kind of like think this maybe comes from a higher place. <laughs> Namaste. Okay, so this is um, Still. Streets of Kyoto turn the mind into a breeze. They fill me full of ease and give me so much relief. Hanging paper lanterns like you see on the screen. It's like walking through a dream. I'm all alone but oh so free. And it's been a tricky summer in the grand scheme. everybody that's um <clears throat> my song called still okay uh, i like that one <laughs> cheers you know you write these things and it takes sometimes years to get the confidence to play them you know it's innermost emotions and uh but I, I love that song and 
Uh, yeah, I love that one. That's one of my favourites of my own stuff. Right, okay. <laughs> Back to more manic depressive songs. Happy Friday, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> um, this is called Reality. Kind of really good for this time. Sort of a bit of a twisted love song. Um, but it sort of works for this time as well. I kind of, I hope I remember it. I, don't, I haven't played this one much at all. Okay. Lying in quiet moments Time doesn't fly, it's frozen After light is spoken to me See Telling me to be patient Lord knows I'm sick of waiting Goddess of love can save me from myself Staying with me. That's my real manic depressive song. When it's like, wah, you know, you kind of go off the rails. And that was my little song, a little bit paranoid kind of manic depressive song. But I'm not always um, feeling like that. Anyway, <laughs> here's the next one. Uh, okay, this one. Um, this is this. I don't. I always just thought this song was a bit rubbish, and I never did it for years. Must have written this one of the first batch I suppose of songs I, I wrote like years and years ago um and I was so flattered you know the thing when you when you write songs you, it's really hard to believe in them and when somebody covers a song you do it's kind of like even you know on this level it's like a massive thing 
Um, and it really makes it feel like, you know, somebody likes what you've done. So one of my old students actually surprised me this year in lockdown and he'd recorded a version of this song. Um, and I was so like, I was so chuffed. I thought, yeah, you know, this, some, it's reached someone and that's what the song's about. I think it doesn't matter if it reaches one or two people or, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, as long as, as long as it kind of means something to someone. So anyway, this is, I don't know about you, um, which my old student James covered this year. <laughs> Well done, James. Cheers. <laughs> Rightly checks in the post. <laughs> um. na, 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 na. <laughs> See if we remember it. Okay, right. This is called I Don't Know About You. I stop and think about the times you said to me. Get a grip, Johnny boy. Write out your destiny. I sometimes think it's rather rich for you to say. Say I'm happy with my life The journey goes on and on And yet yeah, I'm alive I guess I have romantic thoughts About what love means to me I don't want no second best Just the best it can be When I see a picture of you You've always got your arm around
<laughs> Dramatic finish. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm so pleased. Thank you, James. Thank you for um, reinstating that song in my kind of repertoire. Like, yeah, I never do that one. And uh, your cover of it made me want to do it again. And I, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a keeper. I think that'll stay in the set. Right. Oh, okay. Um, oh, it's been a bit down tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like, I hope it's been all right because uh, <laughs> I'm not doing the best to cheer everyone up tonight, but I thought I'd sing some of my own songs. A um, couple of reasons, really. Um, one reason is because, um, little plug, so I've just recently uploaded a lot of these songs to um, a, a website called Band, uh, was it? It was Bandcamp, yeah. Um, and you can download them if you want, and you can pay for them if you want um they're, they're quite reasonably priced um but yeah these things take a lot of time and yeah so whatever if you want to do that that would be great even if i just make a couple of quid um but if you don't want to do that you can go on to soundcloud and listen to them for free so it kind of depends on your moral obligation um so yeah so do what you think's right but anyway yeah so you can check them out and also this sunday um i'm doing a little live stream from the time theater um on sunday to help them out a bit raise some funds and i should probably be doing some of my own stuff and maybe some covers too and accompanying some other people so um yeah so there you go that's why i did some of these things tonight hi michael Ah, oh, cheers i can't see many of the comments again i keep getting my storage as full bubble I need to de delete some of these holiday pics <laughs> okay this one is um yeah this is my covid song As if life wasn't depressing enough. No, it's not depressing actually. It's really optimistic. It's about um, hoping that soon, someday, we will all get back together and have a nice time and see our friends and loved ones once more. This is called Once More. Okay. <laughs> Still pretty world 
Thank you. That was called Once More, and that's a song I wrote about um, COVID times. Ian Gibbonson, I can just see you popping over the top of my storage's full box there. Good to see you, man. You've had COVID, haven't you? I shouldn't have, I'm allowed to tell people that, but I'm glad you're over it and doing better, mate. So cheers. Yes. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> what a week. Yeah, I'm definitely on, on it tonight. It's, the bottle's not going to go very far. <laughs> right. Um, this next song, is I'm going to belt this one out because this one I wrote about me. Uh, this one's for me because, um, you know, I get very contrary. I'm like, oh, well, do I want to do this? Should I do it? Like, or should I be doing that? Or should I be doing this? Um, so it's called What I Want. So do I want it? Do I need it? I don't know. Some things you want, some things you need. Um, sometimes you need to kick up the backside. Sometimes I need that. So maybe that's what this is about. But it's it's a bit of a, you know, arty song called What I Want. Hope you enjoy it. Okay.
Thank you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that one. That was my song called What I Want. All right. Well, nice to see a few of you hanging on on the bitter end in tonight's um, <laughs> depressing singer-songwriter night. Cheers. I've enjoyed singing some of my own songs. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Like I say, I've had a, a bit of a crazy week and um, made us think about what do I really, what I want, what I want in life. <laughs> and I want to write songs and, and, you know, people enjoy them, hopefully. So that's one of the main things I want to do. Anyway, Sunset Rose, this next song. Right. This isn't depressing. Well, it's kind of depressing because she was a bit of a character. She's a made-up character. This has got a funny story. I was at the Bridges um, Centre in Sunderland. <laughs> you know, shopping. Um, with my with my mum and dad a few years ago, I just we went over there for something. I can't remember why. We were in the Bridges. My mum's wandering around and she, you know, the little barrows. And she picked up a lipstick and the t the lipstick was called Sunset Rose that she bought. And I was like, hmm, the cogs turned. And I was like, this is a ca sounds like a character, Sunset Rose. So I thought I'm going to write a song um, based on the name of this lipstick. It's so random. So I then spun out this kind of character um, called Sunset Rose. Um, kind of based on a couple of photographs of my mom in the 60s as well. And our Mary Quant dress and all the rest of it. And the big hairdo, beehive and everything. Um, but... It's not about her, but it's inspired by her. So here we go. This is Sunset Rose. It's a fun one, hopefully. Sunset Rose Everyone knows it had a day As the 80s roll on, 
60s, yeah, a little, you know, who um, has the, that's a life story, all right, anyway, well, thanks for watching, folks, hope you've enjoyed hearing some of my own stuff tonight, um, if you like it, you can go on a SoundCloud and check out some more um, for free, or if you're feeling generous, you can go on to Bandcamp, um, and you can download them to keep, um, it's about, like, I think it's about 70 pence a track, um, so if there's some of the songs you've liked tonight, you can always download them off Bandcamp, um, or if not, um, you can buy the whole album if you want. Bargain. It's like seven quid or something. Right. And the second one's fiver. Even cheaper. Even better. Right. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with this one. This is Love is Strange. So a few years ago, my um, my students at school, you know, they kind of, they watch your every move and they, they click that I was releasing an album. I always say that like that because, you know, it was an album, but it was like, you know, done, done by me and, and record, like recorded home and stuff. But yeah, so they latched onto it and they heard this song and they used to sing it in the corridors and stuff and take the piss a little bit. But um, then it kind of became a thing and then it had loads of views, so that's good, yeah? So sometimes it's not always bad when people take the piss and it actually ends up being quite good fun. So this is, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you with this one. This is Love is Strange, okay? Thanks for watching. I'm a tea-hooping and I care in the world Forget the work you need Looking for love in the big city When I think back now and escape somehow Never been my life had always let me down Running around, always way too busy And I don't know why, I don't know why Cause love is strange, love is strange Sick of fate, always late, cause I hate to waste. Just fly 
flies right by, don't seem to notice. They love the cure and love the curse, but not falling in, it's gotta be much worse. Hot's full to the brim, but I don't seem to show it. Thanks everybody. <laughs> Good night. Hope you've enjoyed hearing some of my own songs. Um, give me a check out on SoundCloud um, or if you want to buy them, go on to Bandcamp and you can keep them forever and do what you want with them. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Good night. Have a good weekend.